Automatons of the world unite. Welcome back to Automation Empire. I'm Robert a Potato. I, does that make me? Does that make me an automaton as well? Who knows? That's the that's the mystery. Anyway, in the last episode, things went uh, things went reasonably well, to be honest. Uh, I'm really really happy with this brand new oil production area. I say oil production area. It's more of like an oil refining area. This is the oil production area. And oh, what do you know? Just on just on time, just on cue, as if uh, as if I was wanting to to prove a point. I don't know what that point would be, but anyway, we've got a we've got a train here, which is which is loading up this this lovely sludge uh, to be sold. This is this is crude oil. This is not crude oil. It's oil. It's regular oil. Uh, we're refining the crude oil into oil, and uh, it looks pretty darn good. It looks pretty darn good. I think um, I think that this looks like a really really decent amount of oil that we're loading onto this train. However, I think that we can probably hand just that little bit more. Uh, so if I put some if I put some more, there we go. If I put some more loading silos on, uh, then hopefully, 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 that will allow me to get a few more, a few more trucks for the next train, which will therefore translate into more money, which is of course, I mean, just great. It's just fantastic. Lots and lots of money is exactly what the doctor ordered. Yes, as far as I'm concerned, the more the more the merrier. Uh crude oil processing is going is going pretty darn well. Um we could honestly do with getting a little bit more oil though. So that's what I'm going to try and do. First things first, let's uh find it. It's over here. Great. I found it. Congrats to me. Uh that can go there and that can go there. Sure. That can go over there, that can go over there, dumpy dump, sucky suck. Well, just dumpy dump at the moment, but it's okay. Yeah, am I going to be able to... I think I might just be able to transition the track from over here to over there with the the bits. Uh, I, I, I was so confident. I was so confident, and yet... My confidence was entirely misplaced. Okay, ditch all this. Let me go for a, a different setup. Yeah, so I'll go for a setup like so. Yep, this is fine. Anyway, the whole point of this exercise is to try and... Ooh, is this perhaps... Is this perhaps a little bit too tight? Ooh, it is a little bit too tight. All right, this is this is turning into an absolute an absolute nightmare. An absolute, an absolute nightmare. All right, well, let me just try and take another approach. An approach which I know will definitely win the day. Win the day? Is that the term? I know seize the day is a term, but I don't know if win the day really counts as a term. Win the day? I guess win the day technically counts as a term. You know, you, you, have, a, you have a pretty darn good day. You want to say, ah, I won the day. Anyway, uh, this is just going to be a simple, simple little, simple little setup. Uh... We're going to try and bring this across here. I mean, that's kind of what I was going for. However, what I'm looking to do is set up a little a little unload station right over here and then load it back up. In fact, I'll, I'll try and build exactly what I, what I want to do. Yeah, so load station, then unload station, and then just set it up over there. In fact, you know what? I can... I can make this. I can make this oh so much better. I can make this oh so much better. Well, first things first. We're gonna need to get a, a ramp, a ramp over here. There we go, and then a ramp down. Let me see if this is actually gonna work. It's. It's not. Oh, don't, don't, don't be, don't be like this video game. Just, 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 you know, roll with, roll with the, the punches, you know, just go with the flow as they, as they say. There we go. All right. Now it should work if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. And then connect this up. Are we going to be able to connect it up with a little bendy bit of track? Uh, almost. There we go. Okay, so I think we're just going to leave this as an uncompleted loop. I.e. not a loop. Because I don't think it needs to be a loop. And honestly, ditch half of those trucks. Because we really don't need them. I think that will be more than adequate. 
Yeah, and we might need to increase the number of cars over here. Yeah, that's cool. Yep, so I think that we will be able to get much more oil into the system, which is, of course, exactly what we're after. And I'm sure it'll be just fine. I'm sure it'll be totally just fine. Looks like we've got a substantially longer train this time around, which is wonderful. Is it going to be too long? I guess the proof will be in the pudding. We'll see in just a second. I can say, though, I'm really happy with this setup. This setup, by the way, is a setup that I wish to replicate pretty much everywhere. Uh, it's it's as it's about as efficient as it gets. Now that we've got the remote connectors, we can we can roll it out to wherever the heck it needs to be rolled out to. So we're gonna do it. We'll we'll just we'll do it. We'll just get it done. And then this is just gonna this is just gonna mean yet more yet more progress towards our goal. Eighteen thousand five hundred and thirty-two. Uh, over a three-month period, which is pretty darn good if I do say so myself. We're making a substantial amount of money. I don't think I've ever had any more money than I've uh, than I've got right now. So, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm pretty satisfied with the situation. Yeah, very very happy with this. So that's good. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we're also making steel as well. Uh, steel bits, steel bits and bobs. I actually think that we can do a pretty similar thing. Yeah, we'll do a pretty similar thing with the steel plates uh, train as we just did with the crude oil train. That is, add a whole bunch of extra, well, fairly unnecessary, fairly unnecessary uh, silos, loading silos, but do actually do actually do what they're supposed to do. I mean, yeah, it looks it looks kind of good. It's kind of irritating how I can't seem to skip. I can't seem to skip uh, and do simultaneous loading. I mean, that would be that would be ideal if I could do that. Maybe there is a way to do that that I just haven't figured out. But ah, whatever the case, doesn't doesn't really matter for now. We're we're gonna get there anyway. We're gonna get there. It's just a case of how long it takes us. I'm gonna claim all this. There we go. There we go. Get all of this claimed. Also, I'm gonna take this opportunity whilst I remember get a few more silos down over here. There we go. And that should, once again, just mean that we've just got a few more a few more silos, which means that we're just going to ship off a, a few more goods, which is exactly what we're after. Okay, so uh, in the last episode, I talked a little bit about how we don't have capacitors. Capacitors, pretty darned essential, as it turns out, for, uh, for research. So that combines gold and it combines iron. Now, I can do that. I can do that, and I should probably think about doing it over here somewhere, although I don't have any iron processing over here at all. In fact, the only iron processing that I have is over in this area. So, I think first things first, I want to sort iron processing, and then I think we're going to just expand this loop over here. So this is a, an, iron, an iron production loop, and honestly, we've already got more than enough iron in this train. Primarily because at the moment our steel plate setup isn't uh, isn't fantastic. In fact, it really could do with uh, being modified just a bit. What the heck is going on here? Did I not uh, did I not get this set up appropriately? You know what? Let's let's take let's take the opportunity to just ditch all of this. Yeah. So ditch all of this. Ditch all of this, fine. You know what? Ditch all of this too. I don't need to pause. I'm not that bothered about it. All right. And now let's start from let's start from scratch. Let's start from scratch. Let's start in the very corner. There we go. I I need to try and make as concise a setup as I possibly can. That's the that's the goal, right? The goal. It doesn't need to be super concise, but we're obviously constrained by the by the uh, by the space that we have. Okay. So I think that that should be totally adequate. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. Bada bim, bada boom. Yep. Is that going to work? I guess we'll see, won't we? Looks to be working to me. Fantastic. Right, so this is... This is the most optimal setup that we can possibly get. I think. I think. 
at least it's the it's the setup which uh, which strikes me as the most optimal. I'll tell you what I could do. Let me take this back. In fact, no, that's stupid. I keep thinking that this is a, a legitimate space, but it's not. You can't actually place anything there, so I'm gonna have to be slightly more space inefficient and build out into the sort of world out here, which is a little bit a little bit unoptimal. But uh, but sell Abby. It's the way of the world, isn't it? Okay, so let's start sucking up the iron. Cool. How long does it take to process the iron? It's 11 seconds, so... I think three should be totally adequate, right? I guess we'll see in just a second, won't we? Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's only two. Maybe it's just two that we need. I, I actually think that it might just be two. Yeah, so one crate maker to three... Yeah, one crate maker to two to two iron machines. I think that that's uh, that's straight up exactly what we've got right here, because it doesn't look like this refiner is getting any action at all. Okay, well you know what? I'm perfectly happy to work to the uh, to work to the configuration. It depends on how many step conveyors we have. I know that much, but uh, but more more than that, I just don't know. What I can do, thankfully, is just make a slight amendment to the system here. I believe. There we go. Make a slight amendment to the system. Ditch that, ditch that, ditch that. And instead, we'll just institute a brand new crate maker right over here. And we'll just get it set up with the corresponding corresponding remote connectors, etc. And there we go. All right, so just like that, we should have much, much, much more iron production. And this is a this is a m model, a recipe that we can copy, and we will indeed do just that. Okay. How many copies can I get? I mean, I can definitely get, can definitely do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit in any more over here. Maybe. We can definitely get one more. We'll be able to get a second one. Okay, so slightly suboptimal setup over here, but it gets a it gets another refiner through the door, which is quite uh, which is quite good. Gets another refiner through the door. Does that even make sense? Not really. Not particularly. Uh, that is absolutely not where you should go. So I can take this opportunity to do it all over again. There we go. There we go. Grand. Okay. Nice. Excuse me. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Nice. And we'll just get the remote connectors, etc. set up. Yep. And yep. So now we should be supplying iron. And we'll just get a whole bunch of sucky sucky tubes set up as well. I'm sure that there is, by the way, a better way of doing this other than other than the way that I've I've just done it. I mean, I'm sure that there's a way to do this with less parts. I'm sure that there is a way to do this with less step conveyors, kind of like what I've got going on over here. However, I think that I can I think that I can improve this area as well, but this area doesn't really need to be improved at the moment because we're still, you know, we're we're absolutely hammering through all of our all of our coal ore so to speak. So uh, so we don't need to worry about that too much for the for the time being. How are we doing steel plate production? Not too bad, I don't think. Not too bad at all. We're definitely getting through a heck of a lot of steel uh, steel plate. Look at the amount of money that I've got. This is this is quite ridiculous. Quite ridiculous, I tell you that for free. That is that is real good. Uh, but we should be we should be keeping up with absolutely everything, I believe. Uh, that can go there, that can go there. That goes there. What am I looking for? This. Yep. And that goes there. Perfect. Yeah, again, this is uh, slightly suboptimal because we're, uh, we're not getting sort of the full capacity that we'd like to out of out of this uh, out of this crate maker. But I still think it's probably worth doing just to just to get that little bit of extra iron. So that's what we're gonna do. 
Okay, so just like that, we've pretty much doubled our doubled our raw iron ore production, which is really, really good, and it should mean that we're going to, you know, be able to get through this backlog of backlog of iron that we've got building up over here. Anyway, that is going to combine with, uh, with, with gold in order to make capacitors. Now, I did have an idea about what I wanted to do with the gold capacitors. So, I mean, in the first instance, I think we probably... We probably want to think about where our gold is and where it's coming from. Now, I did say towards the very end of last episode that we're going to need to tap into a brand new gold uh, gold source over here. And I think that that's what I want to do in the first instance. And the reason that I want to do it... Is there any more gold anywhere south? No, anywhere... Ah, there's a little bit more over here. Yes... Any more gold up here? Maybe one more source up to the north somewhere? No, doubt it. Okay, that's fine. Um, the reason that I want to do this is that it's going to be flipping important to make sure that we get a heck of a lot of gold. And I want all of the gold to be processed in the same place. Why? Um, I don't really know, to be honest. It would certainly be easier if I didn't get it all processed in the same place. But, I mean, I sort of feel like... I want to get it all processed in the same place, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, it's going to need to come out as far as it can possibly go. I think it's probably just easier, cheaper slash more effective to get a to get a power station, a dedicated power station over there. The power station can supply can supply the gold over here. Sure. Uh oh. Okay. You know what? Sure. We're going on a wonderful meandering meandering roots one more there we go and let's get let's get what we need to get set up over here okay and that there great great and great okay so now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get this all connected up to feed into the central gold processing facility um to be honest maybe i should get a second gold processing facility I, I do feel like I kind of should. The thing is, is that I need I need capacitors to be made, like, roughly over here. The gold processing facility... Where the heck are all of my gold carriages? What the heck is this? Did they, dis did they disappear? Did I delete them? That's a little bit ludicrous. I didn't realize that that was the case. All right, well, there we go. Apparently, I deleted all of my gold, uh, my gold transport. Max that out, would you? Yeah, so gold, gold production at this factory is, is working well. I mean, I don't, I don't see any issues. It, it all looks fine. Uh, the only question is, where do I want to get the gold from? I mean, I could have another gold processing facility sort of right next door. And that might not in itself be the craziest idea in the world. Because I do have new tech, and I would like to roll out new tech to the, to the area over here. So I'll do that, and then I'll also create a capacitor factory over here. Yeah, so create a ca capacitor factory right over, right over yonder. So we need to get iron and gold to there. We need to get the gold ore to here, right? You with me? Is that, is that making sense? Am I making sense? Sure, maybe. Maybe not, who knows. It's a one-way medium. I say it's a one-way medium. You get the picture. Only I can communicate to you. You can't actually communicate to me. I mean, you can, obviously, by, by responding in the comments. But it's not going to be live. Not live in the, the sense of live as we know it, anyway. Anyway, with super fast highway, I'm sure... I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, am I going to be able to do this with just one track? That's the real question. Can I pull it off? Um... Slightly doubtful, to be honest. I think we might need... We might need more capacity. We might need... Might need to, to make it a second track, to be honest. There we go. Get that all connected. And then do this. I mean, this may be... This may be just utterly ridiculous, but... It sort of seems like the right thing to do. Cool. And we'll just continue up the crevasse. If you know what I mean. Right over the... Right over the line. And... Right over here. Good thing that I made that a three-story... 
a three story wide a three story wide uh, a three story tall a three story tall track okay so we'll go do that go do that bring it forward a little bit and down to level one and line that up perfect okay so we need to get the power connected up does that uh, does that connect things no I don't believe that it does it's totally weird how factories can't themselves like convey power but ugh, whatever you know I guess that's a that's a thing let's make a door right over there he says and immediately regrets where he made the door all right all right this is I mean this is a failed this is a failed bid if ever I've seen one is this gonna work oh my goodness it actually does work well that's literally taking speed to the to the next level uh, and forward just a little bit and I guess we can just have the track sort of running through the factory it's a little bit inefficient now that's just some space that we could use for someone else but I don't really think that there's any need to do anything different unless to be honest I tell you what I'll do this is really what I should have done I should have I should have just gone right into here yeah do that down to the ground there we go and then we bring it forward just a little bit and then we prepare a swift exit swift exit right out the side door and then you know we have whatever just sort of extra track just chilling out over here okay I'm gonna set up a 20 cart train so as big as reasonably possible and that should zip all the way down here in fact it would be nice if we could get the track to run all the way down the crevasse that would be quite nice but that doesn't matter that's okay anyway yeah we might need to supplement this with an additional an additional sort of track to run parallel to this one that we've just made in order to move the resources around a little bit faster but for now I mean I'm just gonna take that as as a success I'm gonna take that as as, as given cool okay gold production over here is going grand yep no issues there whatsoever how long does it take to process the gold it takes 13 seconds which is the same as iron right I think iron takes 13 seconds iron takes 11 seconds okay so what is it that takes 13 seconds then is it is it coal coal doesn't take 13 seconds coal takes 10 seconds what did I what did I produce is it uh, crude oil is that what that's I'm losing my mind where's my factory I'm sure that there was something that took okay that takes 15 all right so 15 is is three refineries and 11 is two so that means we need two in a bit so we're gonna stick we're gonna stick with two sure okay this is this is fine I kind of know what's going on now uh, right so this can go right in there this can be a suck up point we'll have that over there that over there and that over there cool we'll supplement that storage in a little bit but for now let's just try and get the the basics of the basics of my operation down how many did I say I said two didn't I yeah could I actually make that a little bit tighter I think I could technically make it a little bit tighter but I don't think I want to I think I want to just sort of have these these like units which I want to be able to replicate quite frequently and I've as I've said like a gazillion times already if a unit is like self self if a unit is and of itself like using up all of the resources that it needs to if it's producing at maximum at maximum capacity rather than maximum efficiency that's still no bad thing you know in fact that's that's actually not bad at all that's, that's totally fine right so that's looking good uh, once we get the gold plumbed into here there we go okay much better I'm gonna reverse the the flow of this train and we're gonna get things going in a slightly different direction in just a second uh, to make sure that I don't miss out on all of this goldy goodness there we go come the other way thank you very much 
And so now gold should be sucked into here. There we go. Just like that, the gold is processed. Is there going to be a little bit of a backlog on the on the line? Maybe. But we kind of want, you know, at least a little bit of a back bit a little bit of a backlog. Yeah, so next crate should go right over here. Just like so, grand, and then that'll be processed. Okay, so I mean that seems that seems pretty pretty perfect really. Maybe a little a little imbalanced, but uh, on the most part, yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as uh, as a success. I mean, it's not the perfect ratio. I don't think uh, I don't think I have the the mathematical skills, the mathematical formulations to tell you what the perfect ratio is. Definitely not qualified to do that. But uh, I do know a darn good deal when I see one. Okay. Uh. Ditch that. All right, I mean, this is going to be a ridiculous amount of gold production. Like, a truly ridiculous amount of gold production. In fact, this might even be too much gold production. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this will work. I think... I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit another one in there, but... Okay, sure, we'll, we'll roll with it for now. Let's, uh, let's roll with the punches. So let's do this going to disregard that one at the end for now. Okay. There we go. And there we go. Looking very, very fine and dandy. Like so. Oh, you need to be on destroy all crates. And actually, you need to be connected up to that. There we go. Destroy all crates. Destroy all crates. See, it's good when there's a little hiccup because it means that I can, I can spot the flaw in the process. And now let's get this, this, and this. That, that, and that. Okay. Very, very good. And suck up. Suck up. That is not good. I did not account for that. Right. Uh, whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Well, that's a bit of bother. That's a, that's a juicy little bit of bother, that is. I can fix it, and I can fix it by just doing this. I mean, it, it does take everything, like, out of alignment by, like, one. But I think I can live with that. Okay, and then that, uh, then that goes there. Sure, I mean, I could, I could take everything back and just swap it around a little bit, but I don't think I need to. I tell you what, I could make this entire process. No, I couldn't make it, I couldn't actually make it, like, one rung lesser. Ah, uh, yeah, need to delete that first, sure. I, I couldn't, like, squeeze it up if, even if I wanted to, because this is, like, the, the tightest way that I can get everything fit in. Uh, fitted. Fitted in? Fit in? Sure. Okay. That's looking good. And then... What else? Uh... This needs to be... Yeah, this needs to look like... That... And then that'll go there. Yeah, cool. Nice. Ditch that. Move that out. And get that in over there. Okay. Yeah, now that looks uh, looks reasonably good. Destroy all crates. Destroy all crates. What do you know? All right. That looks pretty fantastic, actually. That looks pretty darn fantastic. Is that even? Does that look even? I mean, it looks pretty even to me. Don't actually know if it is, but sure. Uh, let's see if I can get the required resource to the right area. Yep, so we should now be producing gold. Wonderful. Can I fit in another another thingamabobber in here? 
Can I make this one tile smaller? The answer is yes. The answer is definitely yes. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, so that goes there. And then suck up station needs to be needs to be here. That sucks into that. That sucks into that. You turn all crates on. And you destroy all crates as well. Look at that. What do you know? What do you know? Okay. Uh, will this will this space constraint that I've put on myself, will that allow me to get another layer of gold production? I don't actually know. Um, does it matter? I mean, that is such a ridiculous increase in gold production from just that factory that I'm actually convinced that the amount of refiners that we have in this area will be more than enough to handle the demand. So in recognition of that fact... Let me put down some extra storage over here. It doesn't really... That's so stupid. It doesn't really need to look super tidy. Yeah, it doesn't really need to look super tidy. We just need to get... We just need to get a setup that looks... Looks half decent. Feels half decent. And actually works. Right, let me make sure that I've got destroy all crates on... On the end so that we actually... Can process materials... Fairly easily. Yep, destroy all crates on, destroy all crates on... Great. Okay. That's looking a heck of a lot better. And it looks like we're making a heck of a lot of gold as well. Which is very, very good indeed. Okay. So, two things that we need to do now. One is get the gold from here to here. Uh, that's going to be fairly easy to do. When I think about it. If I put my mind to it. If I put my... Put my noggin... There we go. I mean, just... Uh, that's temporary, of course. And then I don't even need to do that. I can just get a dump point and it will be a blue dump point. What do you know? We've now got gold being supplied to this factory over here. Just like that. Fantastic. Uh, next thing that we want to do is get iron. So, I mean, iron currently being produced with the brand new iron production system. In fact, are we, are we out of iron? I need to increase the number of trucks that we have over here. Are we out of iron? We, sh we certainly should have more iron than we currently have yeah definitely need to definitely need to improve my iron production uh, iron ore production even iron production at the moment is is not too shabby certainly seems to be doing okay yeah we do have i thought we had another sort of area f that iron was just chilling out in is this iron production up here no, this is coal that's coal as well is everywhere coal on this on this little island apart from this area right here? Well, there you go. Okay, well, um, I think that there's an iron deposit fairly close by, isn't there? That's crude oil. That's crude oil. How are we doing? Yeah, it looks like, looks like a single gold train at the moment is not satisfactory, as you can see. Not satisfactory at all. Okay, it's an iron deposit over there. I'm convinced that there is a closer... There's a closer iron deposit up here. I knew it. 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 Okay. Um, because of the way that I have handled the expansion into this area, this iron deposit is going to be an absolute pain in the backside to uh, to get sorted. In fact, I, I literally don't even know if it's possible for me to, to me to access all of these little bits of iron. I should try, though. I should definitely try. Okay, that's one. One is fairly easy to get access to. And truth be told, this secondary one over here, probably, probably not too difficult either. Yeah, it's this one really that is the, that is the kicker. Yeah. And it's a kicker because we really need all the, the space that we can get in order to, in order to give... In order to give this, uh, in order to give this this train the the priority and the the priority to run and deliver the steel plates, so bleh. is there any other way to do this? I mean, we could maybe. I mean, to be honest, look, maybe let's just let's just let's just get the let's just get the track down in the first instance, right? I mean, we've got the we've got the 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 the, the surefire way of guaranteeing two two tracks. Ooh, I say that. I say guaranteeing. I don't even know guaranteeing. Is it? In fact, you know what? 
Why even bother with this over here? It's definitely possible to make this area work. I could move the track. I could do a whole number of things. Let me just find another iron source. Look, there's four iron sources up here. This is this is fine. Let me just let me just tune into this. Tune into this frequency instead. This is iron, right? It is iron. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, and then vertical to horizontal to vertical to horizontal. I I said horizontal. Actually horizontal. Um I'm sure there is a way to do this much much better, but there we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Okay, so theoretically, I should be able to get a... Alright, I think I can actually do one better. He says so confidently. Oh, goodness gracious me. I'm now not going to be able to, to do this. There we go. That's That's what I meant to do, except that's what it's supposed to be. Not the one that I actually just put down. Right, drop off. Fine. Great. Do this. There we go. There we go. And there we go. That's exactly what I meant to do. Okay, so... Let me adjust this. Adjust this ever so slightly. And by adjust, I mean... Uh, change pretty completely. So I kind of want the loop to end there. So this is a little bit of a little bit of a janky a little bit of a janky setup, but it will work because it will. I just know it will. And then we'll get this over here and now we need to deliver this iron ore to the place that it belongs, which is in the iron ore processing facility. Is this going to be a problem? Not with the not with the speedy track. Not with the speedy track at all. Uh, I can pass under here. It's probably worth me passing under this what is this? Coal? Yeah, this coal transportation area and then running fairly parallel to this over here. In fact, you know what? No, I should run I should run the semi-parallel to this track. Go up to level 3 and then bring it across this way. Uh, the reason why is because I need to connect up to this track down here. There we go, and down to level one, perfect, and then just bring it across over here, and sure, just drop it off there, fine, fine, and just a double, a double, triple tank maybe even. Right, and then that's uh, a suck up point. Okay, so this should theoretically work a little bit better. Than, uh, than the original plan that I had in mind. Ditch that, and that can just go there as a temporary sort of as a temporary sort of thing. So now the train is going to be supplied with iron just before it goes. Everything is at level two that actually matters. So we should be able to to zip around the world really really flipping fast. I'm going to set up a brand new dedicated power network right over here. Why not? with a correspondingly ridiculously large number of power poles as well. And then let's set up a loop with just like 20, 20 carts, something like that, sure. And then of course, I've just realized that I didn't uh, didn't connect up any of the transfer tubes. That would have been horrifically embarrassing, wouldn't it? Okay, go the other direction. Go the other direction, come again, and try again. Okay, so that's iron production sorted, which is great. That's iron going to exactly the right locations. Now the next uh, the next challenge is going to be we need to get iron to go to this factory over here, which is going to require some obscene journey. But I think it's doable. I think it's very very much doable. I think it's very very much doable. Okay, I mean, it either requires the same iron train that we have set up over here like right now or we see if we can do it with a second different train I think I want to try it with the same train that I have at the moment so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this back just a little bit to give myself a little bit more space to roam you know can I 
Oh, it's too close. It's too close to bear. Okay. Take this back. Take this back by one. And try now. There we go. Okay, so that's about as about as we can as about as tight as we can make the corner. That goes right there. Uh that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Yep, fine. Happy days. That's a color connector blue. That works. Okay, so in the first instance. In the first instance, we should probably deliver to the brand new capacitor area. Our capacitor is worth more than Whatever I'm making. Steel plates. Steel plates are worth... Yes. So capacitors are absolutely worth more. So we should prioritize our somewhat limited iron production towards capacitors. In saying that, if I'm making an entirely new... Hold up. If I'm making an entirely new gold production area... If I'm making an entirely new gold production area for gold... Then why the heck am I not just doing the same with iron? I mean, I know the secret sauce now. I know the secret sauce. I know the secret to success. I know I've just made a ridiculously long conveyor belt train all the way out to all the way out to where we're going. But I mean, I've got space for another facility over here. Yeah, why don't I just make why don't I just make something else? What is this? This doesn't even need to necessarily be here. This can be tightened up a little bit. All right, I I I have a plan. I I I'm happy with this plan. Right, go do that. That's, in fact, you know what? That's just stupid. Just cancel that. And instead, do something like that. Okay, and now we build a brand new factory, which is going to be our iron processing area. And we build it right over here. We just cut this off right over here. Just forget the fact that there is a big old belt that I just built. Don't even worry about it. Don't even, don't even remember it. It's not even necessary. Okay, that comes down there. This comes under here. And what do you know? Let me guess, it won't line up? It doesn't line up. Perfect. Okay, fine. I'm not even that bothered. Not even that bothered. Not even concerned. I do have a, I do have a knack for just not getting, not getting it in the right place. Uh, so that's going to come over here. Great. We'll get a collection points. I did say I I don't like it to go right in over there. Let me see if I can get it uh, smidged over just a little bit. Yeah, will that work? Maybe so. If I can get it smidged over just a little bit, and that'll allow me to do a heck of a lot more with a heck of a lot less. Right, come down here. Does that line up? Will it line up with an imaginary door? It doesn't line up with an imaginary door. How how remarkable. You know what? Go one further. Do you get refunds on doors? I'm not actually sure that you get refunds on doors. I'll need to clarify that. Also, this train is just going around. Cool, just chilling. So let's bring this into a storage zone. Suck up. Yep. Irritating. It's fine, though. Alright, guess it's gonna have to be over here, then. Yep. 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 Yellow. Orange. Whatever. Okay, so that's gonna be all of our iron. What's the ratio that I've got over... Over here, it's one to two. It's one to two. Didn't like that, did you, video game? You didn't like that. Sure, just stick it, stick it down there, whatever. Doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm so ridiculously wealthy at the moment that uh, nothing really seems to matter to me anymore. I guess this is what just, you know, what happens when you're ridiculously wealthy. But, okay, <laughs> fine. Let's let's go for the the setup that I deployed over at the at the gold area. This setup over here. Yeah, I think it I think it worked quite nicely. 
Yep. There we go. And there we go. There we go. Uh, what am I doing? Is this... Have I doofed this up? I think I have doofed this up. So it should be that there, that there. That there, that there. This should be closer. I should just... I should have just... I should have trusted my instincts. Will this... Will this even work? Uh, that there. Yeah, okay. That's what it should have been. Right, and then that will allow me to just smidge this across just a little bit. Yeah, cool. And not enough space to make uh, to make this happen, but uh, it's fine, whatever. Okay, let's go about getting this area set up totally appropriately. Yep. 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 And there we go. Okay. Nice. Looking good, feeling good, feeling grand, feeling gravy, baby. Right. Once again, we probably have capacity slash space for just more stuff. Which, uh, I mean, we can definitely deploy if needs be. But, uh... Not sure that I will. I'm gonna build these bits out by a length of two each and every time. Just to see if this is a slightly quicker building process. Okay, suck stations. We can suck out this way. Suck out that way. Suck out this way. Suck out that I mean, this is much better. This is way better. It looks and feels a heck of a lot better. Alright, really, really good. Okay, so now we just need to get... Now we just need to get this, get this, get this. I don't even use claw trains anymore. Claw trains are like so last year. So last episode. Okay. Grand. Now we'll get one of these down there. That goes in there. That goes in there. I mean, each of these... Each of these remote thingies cost 10 grand. Am I breaking even with this? Or... Or what? I mean, I must be, right? Okay, so now we should be able to suck all of the stuff up to the blue container, right? That's looking pretty pretty darn fancy. Pretty darn delicious, if I do say so myself. Nice. I'm just feeling great. Alright, where's, where's my iron? My iron is... My iron is coming. Why is it not coming faster? It is coming pretty darn thick and fast now, which is great. Okay, so this is wonderful. Now all I need to do is find a way to get this iron from here into here. Uh, and the way that we're going to do that is via... Via track, via minecart track. Let me see if I can stick a door in right over there. And come down the side of the building. Uh, maybe widen it up a little bit. Yep. And put that in over there. Okay, cool. Stick in a door. We'll stick it in the second top place. And move that in there like so. We'll get a collection point. For the iron, uh, we can just do that there. Honestly, I don't think that we're really going to be pressured for space over here. So that's why I'm not super bothered about where this track goes or where any other track goes probably in this space. I think we'll be, we'll be totally fine. Speaking of, 28,000 is my weight goal already? Oh my god. So you're telling me on a good month I could just like naturally hit 30,000? That seems a little bit ridiculous. Look at how much money. Oh 
look at how much money I've made. Oh, this is this is just this is just glorious. I might not even need to worry about uh, about making capacitors. There we go. Right, add a single minecart. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave it down to a single single minecart. Maybe that's a little bit ridiculous. Maybe that's a smidgen ridiculous. Maybe I should make it more. Okay, that's gonna be blue. That's gonna be orange. Orange, blue. And then we are going to have a combiner, combiner setup, which looks very much similar to the one that you've already seen. Let me see. The one that you've already seen is like this. So, like that, like that. Right, good stuff. Can I actually fit a track in there? I think I can. It doesn't output. Oh, that's the... Uh, darn it, I've, uh, I've done it the wrong way. I meant to... I, I guess there's no reason why it can't look like it currently does, but... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's the wrong setup. I need to be one tile across. Yeah, otherwise I'm gonna have gonna have output issues. Don't we all have output issues? No, that's gone and doofed up. Right. Now that can't go over there. Okay, for goodness sake, potato, what are you doing? Right in the middle. Right over there right over I just I just can't do it I just I'm I've just no I'm, I can't I can't even get the the space right okay just just start 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 brand new start fresh there there okay great I've done it fantastic yay me it's all in the right direction as well which is fantastic there we go there we go there we go there we go I honestly think that this is probably gonna be more than enough Probably going to be more than enough uh, resource. Ah, I forgot one transfer tube. How irritating is that? I'll give you a hint. Very, very darned irritating. You know what? I, I kind of like how you can only get one product made in any given factory. It is actually quite cool. Okay, so things should be working, yeah? Ah, no, things shouldn't be working yet because... We have yet to get a drop-off point for this right over here. Come on. More, 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 more. There we go. Okay, that's wonderful. So now we just need to, to find a way to get this resource, the capacitor resource, right over to here to our labs. Uh, let me just get all the, the points claimed, just briefly. Also, how am I doing, how am I doing with production of, uh, the good stuff? Am I, am I still producing gold? Lots and lots of gold? Got lots and lots of gold over there. Not lots and lots of gold over here, though. That's fine. Uh, we're, we're pretty good at producing the gold anyway. Right, so, let me disconnect that, disconnect that, disconnect that, disconnect that. And instead, I'm going to set up a direct route over here. Yep. And just come across here. Come down here. Have I lined it up with the door perfectly? He has totally done it this one time. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Do that. And then we can have a drop-off point right over here. And uh, it's capacitors. There we go, just like that. Let's uh, let's get this done. Seven, I think, is probably more than our limit will allow. Yeah, so I've messed this up. There we go. That's fine. Go the other direction. Go the other direction. There we go. Uh, yes, same with over here. We're going to have to get a door, oh, which of course it doesn't line up. 
which is just just the greatest thing in the world. I wish I could just remove remove the doors entirely and put them in a place that I wanted them to be. All right there we go. Okay, so that should be fine. Capacitors should be getting picked up, uh, except they might not be getting picked up at the moment because we might still be full with uh, with research. Yeah, which is grand. Now, I also probably want to export these resources in some way. Uh, there is probably a good way of doing that. The only way that I can think of right now is a little bit convoluted, but um, I will sort of try and explain what I wish to do anyway. Uh, what I can do, I think, is if I take this track out, you know, the one that I, you know, just, just built, yeah, literally just now, and then put it back in. I guess I didn't really need to do that, but whatever. If I see, can I take a track? Oh, I can't take a track around here. Is that just totally out with the realm of possibility? Even if I got three of the research labs in instead of the two? Yeah, that's, so that's good. That's good. So there's no way that I can... Just do that. Mm, that's a that's a little bit of a shame right there. In fact, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move all of the all the research labs over by just a little bit. Same sort of place, same sort of style. Literally just to try and get to try and get this to fit in a little bit nicer. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so ditch that, ditch that. So this now means that we should prioritize, if I'm not mistaken, we should prioritize deliveries of capacitors to science labs. There we go. So we'll prioritize delivery of the capacitors to the science labs. And then we'll get a little ramp up here. Now this in itself is pretty, is pretty inefficient, but it's okay. I I forgive myself. I've 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 come to accept forgiveness. Okay. And we're going to prioritize. We're going to prioritize shipping away the capacitors as well. So we're going to get a Is that not possible? Oh. Okay. Also, good thing that I noticed that little gap right there. Yep. Do this. Get that in right there. And we'll get this out here. I knew that this track would come in useful for something other than a horrifically inefficient way to transport uh, steel plates. Yeah, horrifically. Horrifically inefficient way to transport steel plates. But there you go. Uh, let's, let's see if we can get some silos over here. Loading silos. Yep. Lots and lots of loading silos. Now, these silos are going to prioritize... Uh, are going to mean that we can prioritize the good old capacitor... There we go. We'll just get five, five cranes worth. Lots and lots of capacitors in here. Fantastic. So, I'd like it to deliver in the first instance to the research labs. Yep, we'll have suck uppers here, suck uppers there, suck uppers there. This works wonderfully. And then we'll drive all the way along and we will drop the good stuff off at, uh, at the at the capacitor station over there. Doesn't look like we're gonna uh, gonna catch this train, but that's okay, we can always catch the next train. And I think, honestly, that's gonna get us over the line. I, I actually think that that is properly gonna get us over the line. Yeah. Also, we need way more capacitor storage. Way more capacitor storage. If we have loads and loads of capacitor storage, then it means that we don't really need to worry about uh, gold or iron storage. That should all just that should all just work itself out. Three carts, sure. There we go. Three carts over there, and we should be making loads and loads of capacitors. And now we should be offloading those capacitors as well, which is the really exciting thing. Are we able to load up capacitors at the same time as as loading iron? I don't really think so. Yeah, I wish it was possible, but I don't think it is. 
Yeah. Oh well, well, you know what? We're at least loading capacitors, which is um, which is a pretty, which is a pretty big improvement. And so all of this, all of this capacitor production is basically coming from new sources, which means that we're definitely, almost certainly, definitely, almost certainly, a little bit of a logical contradiction there. Uh, we're definitely, certainly going to blow past this twenty-eight thousand, uh, this twenty-eight thousand previous limit. I don't know if we're going to do it, like, super soon, right now. We haven't even started making grass yet, if you know what I mean. So, we got that to look forward to. There we go. Okay, so that's a full... A full train load of capacitors. And, I mean, we are going to get... We are going to get so much flipping money from... Uh, from this train. This train is ridiculously long. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of it. How are we how are we doing? I tell you what, the way that I a way that I could uh, I mean in a surefire sense get more money is just by is just by buying the 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 train respawn time reductions. Apart from the fact that it does take a gazillion years to fill this train up. We're pretty much there, aren't we? How am I doing over here? Crude oil? I've got a full train worth of crude oil. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Look at this. Look at this. It's looking so good. It's looking so darn good. Our crude oil production, by the way, is nowhere near capacity. We could get more crude oil. I don't even know if there are any more crude oil uh, spots on the map, though. I suspect that there might be. I mean, this is, this is looking and feeling pretty darn good. I still feel like I'm not getting enough enough uh enough steel plates out and into the world i think that i could probably do with uh with with doing a little bit of a better job of that but capacitors weigh more oh no capacitors don't weigh more than steel plates they wear this they weigh the same as steel plates that's a little bit irritating well, let's get the the research claimed i think i need another train line in order to start shipping some more stuff out i need a new train line I need a new train line. I also need to cut back on all of the ridiculous expenditure that I that I have just over here. I mean, this it looks kind of cool, and that's really honestly the reason that I'm keeping it. There is there is no there is no value to having this set up uh, and and operating in 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 that's in this sense. It it just doesn't work. It's just not not reasonable. It's not needed. It's just meh. All right. Um. What else? I, I I mean, steel steel plates really is the resource that I have in excess. It's the resource that I have in excess, and I should try, and I should try and get rid of it. I should try and get rid of it. Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea on how we're going to get rid of it. I think I might just be able to get to. I might just be able to get to where I need to go, and by get to where I need to go, I mean I think I'm going to hit the limit. I'm going to hit the the target. Over here. Okay, so. Move over here, grand, go down to level one. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna set up sucky sucky points. Yep. And we're going to have a track, a bit of track. Will that work? Uh, I think it will, yeah, I think it will. If I have enough, <laughs> it won't work, that's good. That's I always love it when that happens. I think I'm close. I think I'm close. That's not cool, dude. That's really not cool. All right. Well, the only opportunity that I have to fix that is to put in a little bit of a little bit of track over here. Man, I hate when that happens. It it should work. That absolutely should work. I mean, intuitively, right? That that is a, a perfect setup. I mean, as perfect as... As perfect as I can make it. Uh, see, even this might not work. It does. That's fine. I don't need to complain anymore. That's okay. Okay, so bring this out. Bring this out. And it should mean that the steel plates are going to be loaded up over here. Which is grand. They're going to be delivered to this area right over here. Which might still not even be enough. Yeah, it's not even close to enough runway room. Try again. Nope. 
I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, dude, but I, I, it has to be done. Right, build the track before I build anything else, I think is probably a good policy to have here. Right. Wonderful. And let's take it all the way back. Oh, there's no more space. There's no more space to, to drag it out of the mountains. That's okay. I think I can just about handle that, though. What we're going to do is we're going to switch around the entrance points for all the trains. So it should be fine if I just take this all back a little bit and... Yeah, and then link that up there. I'm going to give myself lots of leeway over here because this could get complicated quick. That goes over there. That goes over there. Yep. And that goes over there. Fantastic. Look at that. That looks absolutely exceptional. That looks really, really good. Okay, so now we should have three tracks, each of which has an entrance point, each of which has, or will have, an exit point. Oh, don't, this don't, please don't be the bit that scuppers the whole operation. Okay, I think I can get around that. All we need is one single, one single tile long. Okay, hold up. Try that. I think that's the sort of right connection of, of numbers and bits and bobs to make everything work. So it needs to be a sort of a multiple of the transfer tubes, i.e. one or three, and also in one of the funky spaces that the train loading silo wants to fit. Okay, so that is that is actually legitimately fantastic. Let me set up uh, extra connections. Let me set up extra... There we go extra silos, which is kind of ridiculous how I need to do this, but okay, I guess, whatever. Nice. And that should theoretically mean that we will be able to get just a little bit more production out of uh, out of this con out, out of this zone, because of course now it means that I'm sucking up at both ends. So the thought process is, is that if I'm able to do this, then I'm able to, to you know, empty a full load of uh, steel plates over here, which will in itself be a big accomplishment and it's uh, quite, a, quite a good source of revenue. Uh, that's not going to work. All right, fine. But then it'll go back over here and it'll pick up yet more steel plates from, uh, from this zone right over here. Is it going to pick up enough, though? That's the real question. That's the real question. Am I able to, in any sense? Oh, I was thinking, if I could put a thingy here and link this up so that this would refill this, I mean, that would be perfect. As it stands, though, it looks like I might just have enough to fully fill the train. Yeah, as it stands, I'll have enough to fully fill the, the train with steel plates anyway, which works out to be, I mean, pretty darn perfect. I don't think that I'll hit my record monthly target here, but gonna come pretty darn close. Gonna come pretty darn close. How are we doing? How how are we doing? How, are we, how am I doing? How am I doing for capacitors? I mean, I'm doing more capacitor research, which is really, really cool. It means that we're getting towards the, the rocket-filled cargo tech. I can unlock the waterworks. I'm not going to do that quite yet because, I mean, I feel like I'm going to hold on to that uh, for the next episode. I need to I need to do the, the train respawn time. That's definitely got to be one of the things that I do, like, next. It's kind of a little bit ridiculous how that hasn't been done already. Also, you know what I'll do? I'll just do do that there and then a big old tank right over there wonderful take this back a little bit and just get track to come out into nothingness so that we have a little bit of a larger a little bit of a larger run to empty the entire train okay i mean this is this is fine this is really really good i'm actually really really happy with the way that this setup is working 
Uh, we've got a lot of steel plates over here. We've added brand new extra delivery capacity, trying to take it, you know, full advantage of our steel plates, if you'd like. Uh, we've set up a brand new capacitor area, a capacitor production area, uh, which is, I mean, also really good, but doesn't seem to be netting us enough, enough junk. Is there perhaps, uh, is it perhaps an idea to try and get... Is it perhaps an idea to try and get the capacitor train to... Rather than going in past the train, maybe we could get it done via the trucks? I mean, that seems pretty ridiculous, right? I think... I don't know if this will be the month, but the month will come soon, as we now have a brand new train, which does a whole bunch of stuff. Train track exit. Why is this... Why is this not working? Why is this train not working? I I thought uh, I thought we'd have some. I thought we'd have some trains coming out of this, out of this point and onto this track by now, but apparently not. Maybe I've missed something. Well, that's okay. You know what? We'll experiment with that in the next episode because that's it for now, ladies and gents. This is Automation Empire. Would you look at that? What a lovely, wonderful view. That is absolutely spectacular. Uh, thanks as ever to my fantastic patrons who, uh, who help make videos like this possible. Hopefully you'll tune into the next episode of Automation Empire, folks. I'll see you then. Bye.